Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're going to make a first look at how to mic a drum, a real drum, real mics. Let's go! One of the biggest challenge when recording musical instruments is recording a drum set. Mostly because this is not one instrument, but many put together. So we're going to start with a tom-tom, which I will record with a Shure SM57. There's many choices, but that's not what this video is about. The SM57 will be connected to a UK Sound 1173. Tiny bit of compression, just as a safety. Let's go! So for this test, I'm going to use one of the most common microphones from Shure SM57 and we're going to move it around and hear how the sound change. You should do the same with your instrument and find the best sound that you like and what you're looking for. So the best position for the best sound would be on top of the thumb, like so. So we're going to hear how it sounds. Of course, this positioning is not very convenient for the drummer that will start to hit your microphones instead of the heads of the drums. So the compromise would be to go to the side. So I'm going to move to the side and we're going to hear the difference. If you are closer to the head, uh, close to the outer ring of the drum, you will hear some overtones that will be very hard to mix. And of course, some uh, cardboard sound as well. So if I go like this. Even if you place the microphone to the side of the tom, in this position, it will also be in the way of the drummer. So another compromise would be to change the angle for a 45 degree angle. So if I start from the middle and I move, you will hear the difference. So to me, the best position would be to be on 45 degree angle and uh, passing the ring a, li a little bit like this, maybe an inch or two from the head and pointing at the middle of the head like so. The same basics apply to any toms if you have many on your drum set. And this technique applies to the snare as well, but there's something special about it. So let's try with the snare now. For the snare, the same technique applies. On top, 45 degree angle and away from the drumsticks. But let's hear the difference anyway. Something different about the snare is the snares, the metal mesh on the bottom head. And those uh, little metal wire will vibrate on the head and make a different noise. So if I deactivate them like this, some engineer would like to put a microphone under the snare uh, to record this sound separately and then we can blend it. So if I go under it, you don't, you don't see it, but... All right, I changed the angle and moved a bit and we can blend both sounds. Uh, you're not forced to use the same mic on top and on the bottom, 
but sometimes you would need to inverse the polarity of the microphone below because the sound pushed down and will hit both capsule differently. If you hear a lot of overtones, you could use a mood gel. It's some silicone patch that you can put on the head and it will uh, mute a bit of the vibrations. So without... But you need to be careful with this. If you use too many or too much, you will choke the head and the sound will be diminished. The bass drum is one of the most important part of your drums. It is what will make people dance, so it needs to be present and do a good job according to the style of the music and the song that you're recording. There is many setup you can do with a bass drum. You can have only one head, the batter head, or you can have both head closed and you won't be able to put a microphone inside, uh, mostly for jazz and um, some classical music. That's what they will do. Or you will have a bass drum with a little hole in it, so both heads will resonate, but you will have space to go inside and have more punch from the batter head. So that's what we're going to experiment right now, going from the outside of the bass drum and inside and hear the difference, how the sound changes. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that the way you will record your drum depends on the tuning, the musical style, and of course the room in which you're working in. Um, we focused on separate parts of the drums, but if you want, I could do a complete mic setup. Uh, just say so in the comments. Uh, and for now, I've, I'm going to leave you with a little recording I did and you might have heard in a, an early video, the drum set alone and in the content of a song.
Testing a compressor from Golden Age Project Against a plug-in from Waves Audio The Comp 3A versus the CLA3A Which one you like the best? Which one sounds the best? I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, put questions and comments below, and of course, share my videos. It's always a great help.